Aloha guys. I am going to show you a little bit about what I experienced when I went to fly my drone. Just so you're aware, I went to Chicago to get some beautiful footage this morning and I shot that beginning footage with um, my Mavic Air 2. It was shot in 4K 60 frames per second. But upon starting my drone up, I actually had a battery firmware update warning come up. So a prompt, I should say. So when I went ahead and powered on my drone and powered on the controller, I went into the app and it said new battery request firmware update. So that was a good thing. Obviously, I'm hoping it's addressing some of the issues that we all had with this. So we go ahead and hit update. And then it says updating firmware. It probably took two to three minutes, I would bet, to update the firmware 100%. But I would go ahead and take all your batteries that you have and make sure you update them. So again, this is for the people that are getting these drones and starting them up for the first time. I would still take the precaution and not use the hub for the initial, for the people who got the fly more combo. I wouldn't use the hub to initially charge your batteries, even with the firmware update. I don't know, maybe they'll address it, but I would still use the single charger and take you know the precautionary steps and just be patient and then go and use the hub after you could charge it with the single charger and then update the firmware on the battery then go and use the hub but again battery firmware update battery will be updated the same firmware as the aircraft keep the battery and aircraft firmware version consistent to avoid flight safety issues so it says updating keep app open which you need to do and the aircraft connected but again it took about two to three minutes. It didn't really say what it was addressing. I would imagine, as I said, it was addressing all the issues that people were experiencing with this battery getting not getting woken up in hibernation mode. But this is what you'll be seeing. So you can hit that more button and it will take you into that other screen you just saw, or you can keep it on this. But either way, let it play through and update each battery so you have them all current because it will help you out in the future. So as you see, 95% and we're going to let it play. I recorded my screen. So updating and again, this is something it only updated for whatever reason, two out of my three batteries. So I don't know, we'll see, maybe we'll update it later, but it will say firmware installed. This is when you know you're good. And then you hit that X to X out of that. And then you can hit that little X again, and it will get back to the regular flight mode. And now you can go and launch knowing your battery firmware is safe and zoom away. So again, this was me earlier, but this was some of the footage that I was getting that I showed you in the beginning. But I hope this helps. Just make sure, as I said, you charge the batteries. Don't get too excited. Do them individually. Take your time. Put them in the drone. Start it up. Update the firmware and the batteries. And then go ahead and use the hub. So I hope this helps you guys. Again, I believe this was just dropped today. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. I'm hoping this helps some people out. This battery issue has been kind of confusing for a lot of people, it seems. But DJI apparently just dropped the firmware update today. So go ahead and update all your batteries. Good luck with that. Happy flying. And if you can, be so kind to subscribe. And if you want, hit the notification bell. I'm going to be doing a tutorial on uh, basically with an emphasis on the still photography side of it. I know a lot of people really touch on the video side of it, but I'm going to really focus on the still photography side of this and taking this drone and being able to make money and fine art prints with it because this thing is very capable. You know, even with my Mavic Air, I've sold $1,500, $2,000, 30 by 40 inch fine art prints, beautifully framed and cherry wood and, you know, you make money. So again, you could pay for this drone with one print sale if you know what you're doing. So I'm going to go ahead and educate some and hopefully enlighten, you know, the process of how to go out and do that and work your drone for the best still photos possible. So again, thanks guys and aloha.